Anything but a typical day on campus at St. Teresa School in Phoenix. Kids there locked down when three Havelina showed up and ran hog wild. Yeah, this isn't on the outskirts of town either. This is right near 50th Street and Thomas. ABC 15's Pete Serratos was at the school today as this uh, strange situation played out. And Pete, we know the kids are okay. And where are the animals right now? Yeah, Katie, talk about a morning. The, the javelinas were taken to Southwest Wildlife. Well, they're going to be joined by other captured javelinas. And uh, take a look at this video here. Uh, here's a look at the javelinas from earlier today. Of course, they're sedated in their kennels. But as the school's principal tells me, when they're awake and running towards you, you better be ready to move. You know how they say white people can't jump? Well, <laughs> I jumped. A 60 pound javelina would make anyone jump. And if you're not familiar with what a javelina looks like, something with hair that's stuck straight out and it's having a bad hair day and a big long snout. St. Teresa principal Maureen Fayan was in the school's parking lot when Arizona Game and Fish tried to catch not one, but three javelinas. They are fast. They were first spotted at the school around 8 a.m. The school then notified parents and students that there would be a school lockdown. It was unusual. I thought maybe they had escaped from the zoo or something. I was thinking there's someone running around with a gun or someone scary, but then when they told us they were javelinas, it's definitely surprising. Now check out this footage from Air 15. Game and fish with their dart guns ready as one of the javelinas takes off behind their truck. This javelina gave them a run for their money. Drug took a little bit to take effect, so probably you know took about two minutes uh, for the drug to finally knock it down. They were eventually rounded up shortly after 11 a.m. and taken to the Southwest Wildlife, where they will be joined by other captured javelinas. It's a javelina encounter this principal won't forget. You know, it was cute, but at the same time, bad hair day. And I'm telling you, that principal was ready to jump. And uh, Arizona Game and Fish tells me that they've actually caught five uh, javelinas in this specific area in the past three months. And they're not sure where they came from, possibly Camelback Mountain. But the good news is no one was hurt. Yeah, spooky. Yeah, that is good news. Yeah. Bad hair day and all. Thank you so much, Pete.